uh, 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 going live, going live, going live. We're gonna get make us a uh, garbanzo bean or chickpea tikka masala today. Titi's gonna be helping us. She's hiding in the background. I think she's gonna be going back and forth. So basically, we're gonna start off by sauteing our aromatics. What are aromatics? I call your onion, your garlic, your ginger. Those are gonna be the flavor base. So a tikka masala is an Indian dish. It uses spices, it uses uh, garam masala. What is garam masala? It's typically a mixture of spices, a mixture of paprika, cumin, turmeric, coriander. Those are the biggest ones. You can always experiment with your own flavor profile and see what you like. So what I love about Indian food is the spice combinations. I think that looks really good. That one I think is close. So basically right now we're getting our aromatics ready. Didn't pre-chop stuff. So once again, I'm trying to make these shows about 30 minutes. So we kind of go over the basics of what we're doing right now. We are just getting some garlic ready. We're getting some onion ready. So I've got a little bowl at the side here that I put all the, what I call the paper of the uh, onions, onion, onion and garlic. Uh, we pre I use a spoon to take all of, to get that. I got this. Where is this? Right there, to get that from that. That's garlic right there. That's a garlic root. So I use a spoon. Can I do this, Papa? Yeah. Can you get the paper off of that so that I can mince that up? Uh -huh. So we're using, I talk about the hierarchy of health. Uh, cans are not the best, but for matters of convenience, we just go all ahead, yeah. take all the paper off. So I'm going to mince the garlic. Uh, so hierarchy of health, what's gonna be better? Dry beans that you boil yourself, but for matter of convenience, we are just using pre-cooked garbanzo beans, make it a little bit faster. Garbanzo beans, we're gonna use some paste, it calls, or sauce, it calls for puree. So we're gonna add a little bit of water to that, coconut milk, right? So. The, the recipe is two cans of tomato puree and to, and garbanzo beans and one can of coconut milk. We're gonna use half a can of coconut milk. This one is a uh, light. Light is probably not my favorite. I like the full Monty, the full fat version of that. So while Tiffany is getting the onion kind of ready there, I'm going to just peel, I'm going to open our cans so they are ready to go once again like i said for the sauce i'm going to add a little bit of water that i think puree is just a little bit wetter than a sauce is so there's your light coconut milk there's your garbanzo beans here's your tomato sauce this is yes you want me to show you a fast way to do that? Huh? Can I cut this? Yes, cut it. Be careful of your fingers. Perfect. Now, don't cut my fingers off. Okay. Yes. All right. So, for the onion. Onion. We're going to make that. I like thick pieces of onion. Some people like it a little bit smaller. I love raw onion. I love, uh, I'm not like my grandfather. My grandfather could eat a big gold onion and just take a bite out of it like an apple and just eat it. I am not as quite as hardcore as my grandfather. So I won't be doing that. So We're just going to chop this into smaller pieces. This is going to be a rough chop on the onion. We're going to mince our garlic. And we are going to... Uh, we're not going to grate. We're going to mince. The recipe calls for minced garlic, two tablespoons. This is probably a little bit more than two tablespoons on the garlic. So, I'm sorry, on the ginger so i'm probably not going to use all of this ginger 
in this dish. This recipe originally from the web calls for oil. When I'm cooking on the show, I don't use any oil. To prevent it from sticking to the pan, I've got some extra water here so that I will not hopefully burn that while I am sauteing that down. I like to get my onions to where they are translucent, almost clear. So this is just a rough chop. These onions are still pretty thick. We're going to get our garlic to a much finer chop or a mince. We're going to use all of this garlic. I'm going to use probably, ah, let's use it all. What the hell? So a mince is a very fine chop. As you can tell, I'm not doing this extremely uniform because I'm going to just keep going back through until I get this garlic down to a very fine chop or a mince. Then we're going to turn on, Titi, can you turn on the heat on the pan? The one without water. Oh, this is not what we want. We don't want the paper in there that we got all that out. Does that got water in it? Okay, turn the heat on that one. So I love gas. Why do I love gas? Because you can quickly high to begin with and then turn it down. Because you can quickly turn that up or down depending on how your cooking is going. You can also use water to slow the cooking process down. So if you're finding that you're burning something, you can turn your stuff up or down. So anyway, we've got us some garlic here. It is nearly minced. Once we get this a little bit finer, I'm going to turn the stove on. We're going to saute this down to where we get a little translucent with our onions. If our cooking process gets too fast, I've got some water over here on the side. Just kind of slow it down. Look at that garlic. That's way too big. A lot of the stuff on this side is way too big. So we're getting our garlic minced. Then I'm going to just put this all in the pot at the same time. I'm going to get this to where the onion is translucent. Then we're going to add probably, I'll have to go look back over the recipe. Uh, and once again, I'm modifying recipes. I get recipes online. I'm When I'm cooking on this show, I'm cooking forks over knives. Hardcore, no oil, no extra added salt, flour. I sometimes use noodles. Those are sometimes made out of flour. Uh, that is probably the most processed I typically go when I'm cooking is adding noodles. And a lot of times when I am adding noodles, I'm trying to add some weird noodles, either some stuff made from different vegetables, or I'm getting like udon, buckwheat noodles, or different noodles, Thai noodles, which are rice noodles, stuff like that. So. There we go. Can you, uh, you weren't able to, you weren't able to get this going. All right, so we'll turn on the pot on. We got the heat going on that in the background. Wow, we've already been for nine minutes. That's like two thirds of the time together. Uh, once again, if you're not in the Facebook group, go to the Facebook group. Uh, we will put a the finished product in there when we're done. So this is a lot more than two tablespoons. So I'm probably going to leave this ginger out. Go wash your hands, please. Okay. So you're, uh, a lot of times I have this pre-chopped because I have a hard time 
focusing on talking and chopping and not cutting my fingers off at the same time. So that is a lot of times why I have stuff pre-chopped today. Got done uh, from the store a little bit later than I had anticipated. So we're chopping stuff in front of you. And you can see that my knife skills are not the greatest, but as we get better, as we cook more, we get better. As we do things more, we get better, right? So I like a really fat knife because I feel that it's a lot harder to cut yourself when you have a big, fat, thick blade of a knife. And that is why I use a very wide knife, especially when I'm cutting stuff in front of you guys. Good job. So we're going to cut this down a little bit longer. I want it this a little bit finer before I put it in the pan. Go get your shoes in. All right, we're going to throw this in the pan. We're going to let this saute down. Uh, I'm going to need to get a spatula. I didn't get a spatula out of... Box it. We're going to turn this down a little bit. We're going to turn this down to about five. Hopefully, not burn ourselves. Can we, can we get a spatula when we get a chance? So, we're going to try to get this in there. I need to get a folding uh, cutting board. It'll make life a lot easier. Can we get a little bit of water? You know what the spatula is? Just like this, a lot of my aromatics are now close to the stove make this harder to clean later. That is all that is. It's part of the learning process and how I can make this show better. Let's do There's a water in that bowl. There's a big glass bowl. This is the glass bowl. Oh, yeah. And... So we're letting that cook down a little bit. We're going to get that to where it is. see what our next step is. So our next step is we're going to add the chickpeas, the tomato puree, and the coconut milk. Ew, and we're going to continue to cook that until it's hot. And that's going to take us a little bit of time. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and where is my spoon? I've got a spoon here. Perfect. So we've got a pan back over here. We're just letting our aromatics heat up, cook through, get translucent. When you're cooking onions, that to me is the one you're trying to get to where it is translucent. You're letting that cook. 
so the point that it gets translucent, and then you're adding in what I call the stock ingredients. So in this case, it's going to be the paste, it's going to be the chickpeas, and it's going to be the coconut milk. We're going to use half the coconut milk. We're going to use a full can, about 14 and a half to 15 ounces. Uh, in this case, we're using sauce. We're going to go ahead and pour those ingredients in. We're going to put that to where it comes to a simmer. We're going to add our chickpeas to that. We're going to add our coconut milk to that. All right, so we're gonna let that get hot. We're gonna let that come to a simmer. And we'll see how long that needs to be done. Once we come there, we're gonna start adding our spices. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna use uh, garam masala, we're gonna use about two. Garam masala, put that under here so they can see that. Garam masala is usually a combination of cumin, coriander, turmeric, paprika. This particular garam masala does not have all of those ingredients. This is just paprika, chili, spices, salt, turmeric, garlic, and saffron. So we're going to add our own cumin, which this doesn't. Coriander. Coriander, I think this did have a little bit of coriander, so we're not going to go right as wild. Coriander. This does not have cumin. Maybe this one's going to be some. No, too much. Okay, that's good. We're going to have some, also add some black garlic, which is not a normal, just because we would like to. It's not spicy, it's just like garlic. So also while we're letting this just kind of warm up, We're going to start cooking our rice, right? So the rice, we're going to use some wild rice. We've already got a cup. So usually rice is one to two, two parts water to one part rice. Uh, so we're going to bring this to a boil. Then we're going to let it simmer. Then we're going to let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. So we got to first let our water boil. we got two cups of water in there in actually 30 minutes. So wild rice. This is the rice that is the black and brown grains. It's got the hole on the rice. And this is going to take us 30 minutes instead of the traditional 15 to 20 minutes for a regular rice. So we're going to first let our pot boil. Then we're going to throw the cup. We've already soaked the rice, rinsed the rice. And then we're going to just throw that in our pan after it comes to our oil. We're going to set the timer for 30 minutes. We're probably going to break from this before the rice is done. Uh, so once again, if you want to see the final product, we will put that on the Facebook page or YouTube. We'll figure a way so that we can show you the final uh, product when we're done. So basically, now the tikka masala, we're just letting that, the, the beans were already cooked. So this is more of just getting this warm enough for the dish. So I'm going to let that kind of come to a simmer. Then I'm going to turn it way down so that it is ready to go. When the rice is done, we're just going to put us a bed of rice. We're going to put some tikka masala chickpeas over the top of that. And we're going to tell you what we think of it. So uh, once again, uh, watching a pot boil. We should have this going right from the beginning a lot of times I like to. Can we put this soup in the microwave? I think we can.
Can you take this spoon so that I don't melt it? Well, let's set out. How long would you like this? Can you get me a paper towel so that this doesn't spray everywhere? So anyway, this is our tikka masala. Once again, we're using our bonzo vine beans. Uh, a lot of times I like to talk about the hierarchy of health, and when I'm talking about the hierarchy of health, what I'm talking about is whole plants are the safest. Can you get me two pieces together? Um, the hierarchy of health, a whole plant is the best. Uh, the more processed it is, the worse it is. When you're in cat, no. No, baby. Throw both of those away, give me two together, and then rip after the two. Let's just set those over to the side. Go get me two together, and then rip those apart. So once again, tikka masala, this is an Indian dish. Uh, we were talking a little bit about the hierarchy of health. No, 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 don't rip those, please. No, this is perfect, because otherwise you're gonna have space. So anyway, this makes for great television on YouTube. This will get your subscription levels really high when you are talking about something. And then you break and you start and 30 seconds. So, hierarchy of health is where 30 seconds. Do you see 30 seconds on there? Thank you. Hierarchy of health. This is where the whole plant is the best. When you cook the whole plant, you can eat it raw, you can cook it. Uh, if you're dealing with beans, you definitely want to cook, right? Why are you using boiling beans? Uh, before you eat them because they have lectins in them. You want to get rid of the lectins and boiling them will get rid of the lectins, right? So if you are a vegan like I am, the way that you're going to get more protein is you're eating beans and legumes. Three seconds, it won't be hot at all. So you better have it for more than three seconds or you won't have uh, heat in your dish. Uh, so. We're getting close to our 30 minutes. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to show you ways that you can get more vegetables, more plants, more fruits, more seeds, more nuts. So we're trying to get dishes that I think taste great. And we're trying to get more of those into your diet. So that is the purpose of the show. And so when we're doing this, we're trying to come up with dishes. This is very nuts. Uh, move back, please, so I don't burn you. Yeah, so I'm trying to do a show here, too, you guys. I'm trying to do a show here. So anyway, we're back to the tikka masala chickpea. Tikka masala makes for great television when you're cooking soup in the background. So anyway, we're going to let you go. We're going to show you pictures of the tikka masala afterward, tell you what we think of it. And what I would love to do is invite you to cook with us here on the show. Teach me a dish that I don't know. Uh, if you can do it without oil or salt or flour or sugar, that is what I'm going for. Uh, come and join us on the show. I would love to cook with you. I'd love for you to teach me something. You guys have an amazing Saturday and we will see you next week. Have a great one. Bye.